Yo, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Five Some Dose, right? It's Five Some Dose. Today, we've got 18 PC mods to testing. We've got 14 console mods to testing. With all those 21 mods were released today. Custom Modding announced their 250 series. Farm Central Soul are working on a new classic case. 40 Modding are updating the normal maps on all their mods. Pulse FS has new screenshots of their truck. Connect Modding show new screenshots of their Jacko DLC. Plus, JA Modding is working on something new. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the Chisel Pack Deverent. Controlled Traffic Farming. Dolina. Farm Tech Technostros Up 12. Grimmy GL660. Howard Top Block Console. Howard VX Pack. Homemade Small Shed. Kamaz. Kamaz 55111. Knees KD180. Still in testing. Liquid Separator for Slurry. Migliavaca TT100L. Neater Saxon 21. Palmyra Das Misos Map. Small Shed. Small Shelter. And the Vaderstead Tempo V8 V12 VPT V8. VPT12. In testing for consoles, we have the American Richport House, Coupling of Toothed Harrows, Dairy Sheep, DMI Metalworks HFP23, Farming Legend, Hogginstead, John Deere 6000 Series, Cavernland Optima V for all in game crops, Large Capacity Steel Silos, Lizard Lancer 600 Pendulum, Lizard Low Loader, Placeable and Movable Amish Shed Pack, Sugar Beets Export, and The Plantation. With all that being said, we still have nine mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is still one workday. In addition to the mods and testing, 21 new and updated mods were released today on the Endgame Mod Hub. I've already made a video showing these off, and you can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below. Making our way into today's top stories, and we start with custom modding and their officially announced Case IH Axle Flow 250 Series Combine, which is being made for, you guessed it, all platforms. They say that this will have a capacity of up to 24,667 liters, features the new ATI PowerFlex tracks, and Goodyear 2020 LSW 1400 tires, the big boys. These are just some of the new features coming with this combine, which is still currently being modded as we speak, but it is great to see the progress that they have made so far. Last week, Farm Citrus Soul said that they were considering starting the process on modeling a Case 2874 wheel drive tractor. And today, we get our first screenshots of their progress on that exact model. Currently, the nose of the machine is done with the cabin partially finished and a few other bits as well. With all of the classic John Deere tractors we've been getting lately, this will surely be a welcome addition for the red team out there, myself included. Do keep in mind that this mod is still a ways away as the modeling process has just begun, but it's great to see it coming soon. 40 Modding is back with us today to talk about normal maps. They say that a few of you guys have mentioned on the Discord that their normal maps could be improved from the older 40 Modding mods. That they, those have been out for a while now. Well, they agree as well. So they said they have spent a number of days working on improvements on how they generate normal maps used in the textures of the machines in farm sim. They say that the goal was to get a look similar to welding on component joints, but maintain a clean look on flat surfaces where the weld would not occur. You can see that from these screenshots, the normal map is much improved over their previous mods, including the weld lines and flat surfaces with a smooth and crisp look. This is likely as close as they're going to be able to get to showing weld lines without hours of manual work. They will start to update all of their mods with these new normal maps used in their new process and say they will hopefully make a big improvement on the visuals of their mods in the game. Pulse FS has a few new screenshots of their new truck showing the bottom of the mod and all of the detail that is going into making this mod, as well as some images of the engine bay as well, where again, tons of work has gone into making it look good. Most mods don't go this far into making the engine bay even look half this good, if at all. So it is great to see them putting this much effort into it. JA Modding is working on what looks to be a new cultivator or possibly a subsoiler. The brand is a Mandaco and they make tillage equipment, things like that. It's not known if this will remain a Mandaco or if this is going to be changed over to a lizard brand, but either way, it's great to see work continuing and JA Modding working hard to bring us more and more mods every single week. And lastly, today, lots of you have been asking about the Jacko DLC equipment pack, which, just a reminder, is not an official DLC in the sense that you are used to hearing it. It's just an equipment pack that will be on the mod up as a normal free mod. It will be bringing a new brand into the game, which I do think is pretty cool, though, so that is nice. In these screenshots, you can see the detailed work that is going into modeling the sprayer room and hoses for their self propelled sprayer coming with the pack. Lots of work has gone into not only this, but all of the mods coming with this, and I cannot wait to see what else they bring us with this pack. And I can't believe it's not butter. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes only most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on 
in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Always up. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Is it just me or is there not a lot of like crazy stuff happening in Farm Sim right now? It's kind of me.